the recording industry from a mixer's point of view, yeah, definitely changed. I mean, we were talking about tape, and you know, I remember doing, you know, half-inch cuts and having tape around my neck, and you know, okay, this is the verse, this is the chorus, and that, and doing remixes on it, and it, it was like we were super fast. I would create a remix in ten minutes, you know, I was like it was so much fun, right? It was, you were being creative, right? Now's a different type of you know mixing now you know before i i was being creative with whether it's delay throws whether it drops whether it's just almost on the production end of it well now any everybody can do that so we've had to adapt now the art form in mixing is here's a rough here's what we think we want make it better right that's what they always, they always say that uh but what what is better right what does that even mean you know it's art what's better and I feel like today the job of a mixer is adapting to what his taste is, pu putting his taste into their music. It's almost like they're asking for our advice, you know, and, and you're not giving it to them, you're handing it to them so they can hear it, right? So it's a different art form today than when we were adding delays and we we're do doing drops and we were doing phasers and doing reverse effects and all that. Um, it's just a different art form today than it was even 10 years ago. I feel there's still going to be collaborations, uh, but not like before, like not like the good old days. Yeah. But I think it's going to be more songwriters and producers, and but not so much engineers. You know, it's going to be, you know, less of that. And then you're going to go in the studio and maybe do drums on this song, and then maybe you're going to play some horns and. It's going to be that type of interaction as opposed to being in the studio and creating something from scratch. I mean, that's still going to happen, yeah. but it's going to be less and less for sure. The listener experience is going to really change. Uh, I think that earbuds, you know, the earbud generation is going to kind of disappear when we have better products, better headphones, better, um, you know, headphones that you can, you know, actually that are good you know yeah yeah exactly so i think it's definitely gonna get better i think audio has you know out of all the art forms everything's moving forward but audio kind of just stayed at the mp3 you know that we just haven't moved from there but i feel like the high-risk audio in the future and all that it's going to be a better experience for sure the immersive audio yeah i, th I think it's great man i think it's going to change the way we listen going back to the previous question uh, you know, and I say, imagine having, if you close your eyes and you have a drum kit in front of you, right? And you have your bass, bass drum and you have your snare and you have your hi-hat and then you have your s overheads. We're going to be able to do that, which that's pretty exciting. Like that's, I don't think we've had since stereo. I don't think it's moved forward, but this now, now the key though is going to be f for games and movies that's done. But for records, it's going to be interesting how everything is glued. Because when you start separating things, then you unglue it. And that's an emotion to glue. You know, we always talk about how much glue we want in the records and all this. That's going to be the tricky part. How do we maintain the glue and the vibe and, you know, what, what, we, what moves us? You know, the moment you start separating, you start listening to objects as opposed to feeling them. That's, so that's going to be the tricky part. But... But once we nail that, it's gonna be like going from TV with the rabbit ears to like HD, you know?